Well, I think he wants to see if somehow they can jawbone the financial markets into tightening those financial market conditions a little bit. And, and that will mean that the Federal Reserve doesn't have to raise rates as much as they would have in order to slow down inflation. Remember that by raising rates very aggressively, they risk breaking something or causing uh, more financial market uh, turmoil. We saw what happened with the banks. So I think it is their goal to raise rates, but to raise rates as little as possible to get the job done of controlling inflation. Anthony, uh, Paul also pointed to the difference between core inflation and uh, the broader measure, which includes things like food and uh, energy as well. But what is it in core inflation that's uh, driving uh, the rises? Well, right now we know that one of the big uh, factors, of course, is housing. Uh, we know how that's computed in the, uh, in the consumer price index and even to some extent and even in the personal consumption deflator. Uh, those numbers come in with a little bit of a lag. The real-time shelter numbers, especially rent, are rising, but they're rising a lot slower. So that eventually will show up in the actual uh, numbers out there. That's why uh, Chairman Powell likes his super car uh, number that actually excludes uh, housing services. So they're looking at the services component mostly and trying to uh, look at everything. But at the same time, they're they're doing their best to not raise rates so aggressively that it will end up uh, causing more severe pain and discomfort for the U.S. economy and not uh, raise uh, the unemployment rate as much. And in fact, we saw some encouraging news. Not only did they raise the GDP forecast, but they also lowered the terminal rate for the unemployment rate uh, for the end of the year.